Project Legacy. We began construction February of 2022, and I'm here to show you some of the progress we've made. Since the last construction update, the team made significant progress on updating the concrete foundations. We have installed a new siding to some of the buildings. We've undergrounded our utilities. We've added updated mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. And we have um, updated exp expanded porches as well. Let me show you around. So we're here standing on the south side of the Marsh Chapee Johnson House. Um, you can see here behind us that we are working on expanding the porch. Uh, this will provide more square footage for outdoor seating for the clients when they're here on the campus. Here we have our construction superintendent Chip Lanzi as part of GB Construction and Chip has been instrumental in helping us uh, lead this project and stay on track with the project schedule. The last time we were here, the house behind us, the James Baldwin house, was demoed all the way to uh, the foundation due to safety issues. Uh, we've been able to rebuild that and now have two stories of this house. Upon purchasing the property, we had high wires that went cutting across the campus that were attached to the utility poles. Uh, we were able to make a, an update and a site improvement by undergrounding those wires um, to the corner utility pole um, that's right behind me. So here we are in front of the Marsha P. Johnson house on the existing porch. Um, we have added some building paper alongside the perimeter of the building before we put the siding on as best practice and preservation. Uh, let's take a look inside. Um, so we're walking into the um, entrance of the Marsha P. Johnson house. We're standing in the, the future living room of this house. So we have completed updating the new electrical system, additionally plumbing, and then also a new HVAC system. You transition into this area, we have two bedrooms on the first floor that are still in development, of course. And then we have a dorm style restroom where we'll have multiple toilets, multiple sinks and showers. In the kitchen, we will have updated appliances, wall-to-wall -wall cabinetry for communal living, seating for six inside the kitchen for dining, and then also additional seating on the porch area for 12. The second floor of this residence has additional four bedrooms upstairs and two bathrooms. There will be a total of 12 housed in this uh, location. Thank you so much for joining us today on our Project Legacy Construction Update.